Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Waves from Slider here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to update and delete data from your SQLite database. In my previous videos, I was talking about the SQLite database schema, the select query, the insert query. Here, we are going to wrap up everything as far as the basics of our SQLite database is concerned. So first, let's talk about how to delete data. And by the way, if you guys haven't seen the previous videos, please check the links in the description text below. So here, we have my class Web's helper, which contains the schema of our database, that is the column names, the create statement, the on upgrade method, and everything inside, which extends SQLite open helper. Then there's our SQLite database object that represents our physical database stored on the device. So the delete method looks like this. You have the string table, where you specify the name of the table to delete from. You have the WHERE clause which is optional. Now if you don't put a WHERE clause or if you supply NULL over here then remember one thing it will delete all the rows and hence be very careful about what you put. But if you do want to put something we will talk about how that's exactly done in the next slide very shortly. And then there is the WHERE arguments. For example in the SELECT query you had the query statement like SELECT STAR from table name where name equals to WIVS. So in the WHERE clause you will have name equals to question marks and in the where args you will have the value webs inside the string array so that is the way this where clause and where args work together now what it returns is the number of rows that are affected when the where clause is passed in otherwise it returns zero if nothing changed so now let's talk about how to update data which is very very similar to what we just discussed here's the method int update there is string table there's a content values object that contains the new values that you want to change. There's our where clause and there's our where arguments just like we had in delete. So table is the table where you have to update. Content values is where you put the new values that you want to change. For example, you want to change the value of say name equals to Wivs to name equals to Anki. In that case, the content values object will contain the new value Anki as part of the name. Then there is the where clause that contains the same stuff which we had in our delete and the where args which is again the same thing which we had in our delete method. And it returns the number of rows that were affected here again. So now let's talk about how to delete data actually. So the query in SQL looks something like this depending on which SQL platform you're using. So here delete star from Wivs table where name equals to Anki. So this is the condition I have. Now I could say something like this db.delete which is our SQLite database object pass the table name which is Wivs table name equals to question mark over here and then the third argument where arguments will contain the value Anki that I want to delete. So this is how the where args and our where clause is split in two different sentences and remember nowhere on earth you're supposed to write where over here in the second condition because this where word will be automatically put by your SQLite underlying mechanism and now let's talk about how to update data which is again very simple you have your update Wivs table set name equals to Anki where name equals to Wivs now this is the plain SQL query that we have right now so first create a content values object that's going to contain the new value you have said set name equals to Anki where name equals to Wivs in other words the new value is Anki that you want to put right so specify the name of the column which is name specify the new value which is Anki then put your condition saying something like this db.update select the table which is Wivs table inside this put the new value which is our content values object that contains these new values then specify the condition which is where name equals to question mark right and then specify the arguments that is new string waves in other words it's like saying update table which is waves table put the new value cv where old value name contains the value waves that is exactly how this translates to so this is just a plain overview that we took out at a high level to understand how queries work in the next video we're gonna dig into Eclipse and complete our remainder of the SQLite database adapter class that we've been working on. In the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye from Waves.